I don't think that's what caused miscommunication in this game, was Rusty wasn't on Skype. Um, that's a little, I guess, I can note it earlier. Okay, oh. Yeah. Um, GP ult on the Baron, forces them off it. Okay. Rukon goes in and ults on the Riven, and Riven gets caught. She probably will go down right about here. Oh, this is a huge mistake by Jesse getting caught out. I don't see how you're ahead of me in time again. Real confusing. Anyway, Leona gets, um... Oh, oh my goodness, this is going to be another ace. That Appella misses sad. the flash. Oh, they... Okay, that's that's four kills, though. Um, Maka got and, away. And a free Baron. Yeah, and a free Baron. Um, looking at their base, though, is going to probably lose their top tower. Actually, I think Siva might get there in time. But she heads mid instead. Yeah, just save the inhibitor. I suppose that's that's a valid play. Top tower sh might s survive, but it's going to go up and make a last ditch attempt to try and save it. But it does go down. I don't see how you keep it getting ahead of me. Real confusing. Oh, that bag. Too strong. Currently, on low replay, it says uh, Vladimir's MS is 29,000. Yeah, I had really bad lag this game. And I don't know, it wasn't 29,000, but I had about 500 for a lot of the game. Really annoying. Um, I guess that's what you get when you go to download this gay interracial port. What you gonna do? Um, so, uh, a lot of people are probably wondering, uh... That's a joke, by what the way. Is, <laughs> what is going wrong for Mind Freak Razor? The, uh, last two team fights, it really comes down to, uh... Jesse getting caught by Wukong Ultimates without the GA. Okay, so... SQL definitely pushing pushing down mid. They know they have banned. They know that they have a strong team fight. Looks like all their Ultimates are up. Um, all the inhibitors are alive as well, so they, this is sort of a last ditch effort here. Um, if they can take an inhibitor, it gets them back into the game. That tower dying almost instantly due to gang things up. Um, SQL knows they really can't force a fight under the tower though, they're not that far ahead yet. So, we'll probably see a transition, yeah, it looks like we're transitioning to bot lane. See so we're going top to farm? Oh no, they're getting dragon, okay. Also, uh, just a quick check at the items. It's pretty standard build on everybody. Though, uh, quite a few people are probably wondering why you would be going Trinity Force on Bane before IE. Not quite sure about that decision. Um, I'm guessing she started out with a phage in that build, maybe to get a little bit more tankness because he found himself dying. I don't really agree with that. Um, Vayne's really good at positioning her ulti with stealth or whatnot. I think it's due to a lack in confidence. Yeah, um, really... Which forces a suboptimal build. Yeah. But we do see, um, Denny with basically finished build. Um, so, he's gonna be wrecking. Um, he's gonna be a big problem in fights. He, uh, gets his ill. Probably gonna build another Phantom Dancer to finish off his build. So this is Glass Cannon Sivir compared to um, Vayne going with a little bit of health. This is just speaks of how they feel about their positioning team fights and their team's ability to protect them. And as you know at the moment, you know, Glad's only uh, 40 CS ahead of Ari, so they're kind of close. But the big difference is the Sivir with the uh, 364 CS to the Vayne's 270. Just because Denian has just been farming so much. He's been able so, to bring himself back into this game. This looks to be a free top turret. Yep. Something to note for the next team fight is Jesse does have his GA. So it's gonna be really annoying for SKO to deal with that. Still a huge threat. Devil Bloodthirsters, he has a ton of attack damage right now. Though they do not want to let Jesse finish that last whisper. 
he has a pickaxe, so he'll probably be building that next. And once he gets that last whisper, it's going to be very hurtful for SQL. So SQL just being really careful. They, they, they know that the Baron buff has run out. And just taking all the outer towers, slowly getting back into the game. And they uh, stole the red buff. Definitely don't want Mind Freak having a free red buff. So just taking some free turret hits because that's that's what you do in high rank games. Take turret hits for no reason. Um. So it looks like they're just gonna be pushing down, um, bottom. They didn't want to tower dive in an inhibitor tower, but outer tower is um, a lot easier to position around um, and avoid tower hits when needed. So they'll probably try to force a fight here or force an F off the tower. And Jesse has finished that last whisper, so they've got to be extra careful about diving. If you see, um, Dale is actually trying to use his stop animation to try and bait some ultis or some CC. Um, that'll probably be an indicator of when he'll go in. Probably one of the most annoying laughs in the game. Nothing too exciting happening, just just sieging this turret since they know they're mid and mid and um, top of pushing. And uh, looks like Wukong's heading mid. Yeah, it looks like he's heading top because he has teleports, so he knows that if someone comes to stop him, he can always teleport bottom. So this is where you're gonna see Jesse, um, River not having teleport being an issue. Um, teleport's really big for when taking inhibitors and inner tower. They're able to just uh, split push, and uh, Wukong does quite a lot of damage to the towers. Mm. His Nimbus Strike, I think it is, just destroys them. So, I don't see the health on top. Annoying with low replay. So it looks like they might be getting ready to buy in order to get ready for Baron. Baron buff has been off for a while. Yeah, it should be up in the next minute or two. So it looks like at this point, really, Apella and um, Jesse really doing all the all the heavy lifting of um, of MF right now. It's sort of sort of bad in that way because since all the kills are on Riven and Vayne, uh, if they die in a team fight, MF loses the team fight. Yeah, anyway, sorry, does not have much damage. She doesn't have her Void Staff, and Maokai and Leon are pretty useless damage wise. So we see um, some positioning Baron. happening on Baron, throwing down some wards here and there. Um, the good team wants to start Baron because the Baron debuff will if lose in that was, fight. If uh, I SQL, I would just wait it out while uh, Wukong goes to push bottom tower. Yeah. Okay. So Getting Wukong's pushing to bot. Teleport to yeah, Baron. With teleport. Though Jesse has came down after him, I think this could be a big mistake. So Jesse Being... right behind Wukong, Wukong just runs away, Jesse doesn't chase. Wukong starts teleporting, they're forcing the Baron. Yes, that was a big mistake. So this looks to be a free Baron, they're doing it extremely fast, so is really doing a lot of damage. So that's a free Baron to SQL, they could probably push for an inhibitor now. Oh, is Scheme gonna get caught? There goes the Australia's in both teams. Yes, Saber ulti. And Maokai goes down and loses the Oracle. You're ahead of me again, really. Okay, so Dal, I'm not really sure if this is the right, right thing to do. So Dale goes down to Riven. 
Riven looks to be going down. Yes, Riven will definitely go down here. Sibiru is running. Oh. Riven and oh. Ari, get away. So, less than 200. Vlad health. duking it out with Vayne now. And Vayne ta- oh, pool. And the Q. Oh. So, that was a 3 for 1. Good exchange. And because um, Bane is level 18, she has over a minute um, respawn timer. So they're probably just going to go defend their inhibitors and then push again. Yes, that was really just a bad mistake on MF's part. Yeah, um, Riven running bot probably might have just lost them a, oh, any chance that they had. SQ has been making comeback for a while, but then a free bear on top of that. I um, probably uh, think that uh, MF might be a little bit agitated. The oh. uh, Jesse at the moment, after going so well in lane, got a little bit too cocky. Has made some probably game changing mistakes. Severe, uh, 420 CS. Yes, that's just disgusting. That's severe for you. <laughs> also, after uh, Jesse gave up that free Baron uh, MF Scream Razor, really couldn't get away once GP hit his E and super popped her ultimate. Even with his Shirelius, there's no way you're going to be able to outround that, especially no. if they tail dive. Two Phantom Dancers, her ulti, and Gangplank won't raise morale. There's no record for that. So, wouldn't be surprised if they went in as soon as Vlad hit someone with any spell since he has Rally's. Um, I'm pretty sure they're confident they're stronger right now. So, and top is pushing, bot's pushing, but I don't think that'll be too big an issue. Okay, they're rotating top, since I know that's pushing and that's a lower turret. Um, and the significant creep wave behind them as well. I'm not quite sure if the uh, Void Staff was such a great idea on Ari, considering most of them are low MR. Okay, so we see they were just pushing down the turret. Oh, in ulti, Vlad ulti goes down. Vlad pulls, dodges a whole lot of damage. Riven down. Gangplank goes down, but so does Ari. Bane gets away. Scream. Scream also gets away, but that is an inhibitor. I, once again, they they tried to focus Vladimir there. And GP. They did get GP, but you can't really focus with Vladimir. Yeah, this problem with Vlad late game though is you, you can't focus him. You, oh, and then Appella just getting destroyed by Sivir. End game Sivir. Very strong. Yeah, not quite sure what he was thinking there. Sivir is clearly stronger. So that is two inhibitors, and everybody's dead. They're probably just going to push for the win now. Um, and they say GG. That is a game. Um, MF probably pretty annoyed right now, have, after having such a good early game, having all the inhibitors down, and not being able to pull it out. So anyway, this is SQL Jin, and Swag, bringing you a commentary. Thanks for watching. It is my pleasure.